Hi, this is Elena Alvarez at Axios Denver here in partnership with PBS 12. Let's get you smarter, faster on the latest news. The one big thing this week is a crackdown on Kratom. Colorado's Wild West days of Kratom, an unregulated and controversial herbal supplement, are coming to an end. What's happening? The Polis administration is proposing a robust set of rules akin to cannabis regulations that the Kratom industry says could put retailers out of business. Proposed rules include strict manufacturing, testing, and label requirements, plus a ban on sales of vaporizers, concentrates, and certain edibles. Why it matters, Kratom is facing renewed scrutiny about its safety and effectiveness, with the FDA now warning people not to use the supplement because of concerns about abuse and addiction. Yes, but Colorado's proposal would still permit the production and sale of Kratom, which currently sits in a legal gray area. Now, a few headlines to catch up quick. TSA confiscated a record number of guns from passengers at Denver International Airport security checkpoints in 2022. By the numbers, 156 firearms were found by TSA last year, marking an 11% increase, which mirrors national figures. Nationwide, Denver ranked seventh among all U.S. airports for firearm discoveries, the federal agency reported this week. And new data from Enrix shows Denver Metro drivers spent more than two days in traffic last year. The big picture, the city ranked 17th in the nation for traffic congestion, down two spots from 2021. Now, one cool thing to go, pages from the original Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo will be exhibited in Denver for the first time in honor of the 175th anniversary of its signing. Why it matters, the treaty significantly expanded the U.S and set the stage for Colorado's statehood. What's next? You can view the treaty at the History Colorado Center from February 3rd until May 22nd. That's it for now. If you want more, subscribe to Axios Denver's free newsletter at axios.com Denver. I'm Alina Alvarez from Axios in partnership with PBS 12. We'll see you soon.